Hello viewers. In this tutorial, I discuss about block diagram representation of discrete time signal. So, it is useful at the point to introduce a block diagram representation of discrete time system. For this purpose, we need to define some basic building blocks that can be introduction to for complex system. Okay. So, here an adder. Okay. So, in this figure, a system adder that performs the addition of two signals that performs the addition the adder that performs the addition of two signals okay mind it sequence to form another the sum sequence okay which we denoted y of n the sum is which is denoted y of n note that it is not necessary to store either one of the sequence in order to perform the additions in other words the addition operation is memoryless okay so here x1n and x2n that's the addition using adder and the summation result of y of n equal x1n plus x2n clear and next one is uh, a constant multiplier clear a A constant multiplier so in the in this case the operation is uh, dissipated and simply represented applying a scale factor on the input x of n and the graphical representation for this operation is here the main thing and input is x of n and modified with the a and next the output is y of n equal x1 n uh, into x2 n but note that this operation is also memoryless okay so and next one is a signal multiplier that's the constant multiplier and next one is signal multiplier So in that case, the figure like that. Okay. So here in this figure, the multiplication of two signal sequence to form another mainly another product or sequence denoted in the figure as y of n as in the pre preceding or preceding two cases we can review the multiplication operation as memoryless okay so here is the graphical representation of signal multiplier and next one is a unit delay element So in that case, the unit delay element, the unit delay is a special system that simply delays the signal passing through in its one sample. Okay. In that case, the diagram or block diagram is, is very simple. The input x of n and next the modifier and output y of n equal x of n minus 1 okay so if the input signal x of n uh, the output is x of n minus 1 in fact the sample x of n minus 1 is stored in the memory at the time n minus 1 okay and it is recalled the memory at the time n to form so in that case we write that x of n minus 1 but in this building block diagram does the this basic building block requires memory the use of sample z inverse to denote it, the unit of the delay will become apparent with we discuss z transform okay 
that's the jet transfer and the next one is a unit advanced element in that case the unit advanced element block diagram like the input x of n and output is y of n equal x of n plus 1 okay so in that case the in constant or contrast to the unit delay a unit advance moves the input x of n ahead by one sample in time to x of n plus 1 okay so with the operator z had the operating working as z okay so being used to denote the unit advance we observe that any such advance in physically impossible in real time since in fact it involves looking into the future of the signal on the other hand if we store the signal uh, in the memory of the computer we can recall any sample at any time in such a non real time applications it is possible to advance the signal x of n in time so that's are the uh, block diagram representation of discrete time signal or discrete time sy system so thank you everyone and subscribe my channel see you in next tutorial